Well, one by one, we've heard the government's parliamentary team pitched in the House of Assembly why changes to the Bail Act are needed if the country is to strengthen the long arm of the law, make those responsible for violent crimes more accountable, and restore faith in the justice system. But while public outcry has fueled strong backing for the changes, like the immediate revocation of bail where an accused has violated one or more bail conditions, there are lingering concerns. I think uh, perhaps uh, more time is needed in order um, to uh, make it more in line with the constitutional um, provisions, if at all we can, that, that we can reach that middle ground, if that can be done. An assistant director of public prosecutions, Darnell Dorsett's view is one supported by her colleague, Stanley Rowe, chief officer at the Public Defender's Office. The two appearing as guests on the ZNS TV weekly show, The Legal Brief, with host, noted attorney, Ramona Farkasen. The intended amendments are very stringent, and it will not only affect me, a defendant, but it will affect the persons who signed my bail. And it's really going to make the shorters really consider whether or not you are a suitable person, in their view, to sign the bail. And so with some redrafting, um, some more conversations, um, I suspect we will get a bill that is workable, is practical, and... Um, but you don't think this is it? Not in its current state. No, you still think it needs some work? It needs some work. Hi there, I'm Corval Pfeiffer. Thank you for watching our YouTube page. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for all things ZNS.